Till Abu Dhabi has a 75-year lease on all of the parking meters in Chicago. In a decade they've already made back their investment. Germany privatized the company that runs the highway toilets and shops in the 90s and implemented a law that bans everyone except the company to have things on highway stops. This led to a company called Santa Fe which started charging 1 euro to just go to the toilet and because that's legal they will give you a small paper receipt worth 1 euro that you can then spend in their insanely expensive monopoly highway shop. And they are owned by the Abu Dhabi government. We sold our public toilets to Abu Dhabi. It's not possible to go to a toilet without our giving Abu Dhabi some money it's insanity. Breaks rule Dhabi is just one of several investors listed in the article. It's not clear how large their share is. Also, the article didn't say Abu Dhabi recouped their investment within a decade. Whether or not that statement is true, it's not supported by the linked article, which violates Rule 1. Indeed, the article was published in 2010, just two years after the deal had been signed. Something you should totally never do in any and all cities in the US is fill the coin slot with super glue. And definitely don't fill up the card readers if they have those either. Packs of like 5 little bottles that are for some inexplicable reason the exact amount you need to ruin a parking meter are really cheap. So do not do it. In 2008, Chicago Mayor Richard M. Daley and the City Council agreed to lease Chicago's parking meter business for 75 years and in return received $1.15 billion from Chicago Parking Meters LLC, a venture that includes Wall Street Investment House Morgan Stanley. Alliance Capital Partners and the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority. I didn't read the article because I just listened to a story on this a few weeks ago. Sorry if I repeat something. But since the city doesn't own the meters, any reconfiguring of streets with meters, for bike lanes for example, or permitting for parades creates a need for additional compensation to their owners. Similar thing in Northern Virginia. An Australian company, Transurban has a 99-year lease on several major highways going into and out of Washington, D.C. They charge outrageous amounts of money to drive on them, effectively creating rich people lanes. Look at how Saudi Arabia is using up all the water from the Colorado River to grow alfalfa which is banned to grow in their own country due to amount of water usage. 68 of water from the Colorado River is pretty much being used by foreign countries. The GQ Piandinos of the nation work very hard to socialize corporate losses and privatize any profits for their totally legal donors who are totally not giving bribes with that million a year consulting position they never have to show up for. Our corrupt governor sold the tollway to a private company also. When the tollway was built we were told that the toll would eventually be dropped. Instead it's an extortion scam being enforced by the state. Despicable. The best part is that Chicago has to pay this company every time they have a parade or street event to compensate for the lost ticket revenue. Whoever signed this deal should be put in prison. Yeah I'd rather have no parking meters at all on public's roads than this. Some things really shouldn't be decided by a few people. Some should go to a referendum and ask the voters directly. Indiana's ridiculous government sold their toll road to an Australian corp after the first buyers realized they were beyond repair. No infrastructure for us is the state motto. A Saudi company leases land in Oz for growing alfalfa near our home. Apparently they also don't have restrictions on how much water they can use. They grow it year-round. So funny how people get upset that a country founded by wealthy slave owners does everything it can to appease wealthy business interests. It's always been this way. Parking meters shouldn't be allowed in the first place, you've already paid taxes to build the roads. So why should anyone have to pay to use them? Mayor Daly has nodded to operational problems with the parking meter sale but says it's financially sound. Financially sound for who? 99 Invisible did an episode on parking where they cover a bit of this. It's funny how things are. The Ontario Teachers Pension Fund owns most of the airports in the London, England area. Chicago isn't exactly known for good or honest government. This should be no surprise to anyone. Another fact the people of Dubai don't like the Flintstones. But the people of Abu Dhabi do. I'm guessing the city accounts in Chicago got educated and certified by online Kmart classes. What would happen if we just stopped paying Abu Dhabi? Not like they could come take it. How the flock can our municipal properties be sold? And to foreign entities no less. Foreign governments owning shit in the USA is super cursed. Who lets that shit happen? This sounds like an oversimplification but I can't be bothered to read the article. Irk they own toll rights to several major highways running through Texas as well. LMFAO America is such a scammy country. It's like a permanent Black Friday Walmart. That blows my mind and I would be outraged if I lived there. 
sold down the river. I wish they would make the meters 10x more expensive to teach a laws in here. America's selling itself off one piece at a time. Wake the fuck up, people. How has no one in the public sued over this? Is it even possible to sue? Time for some patriots to cut down all the parking meters in Chicago. Can someone Eli 5 how this can happen? Why can't citizens sue? Privatization is a great way to give money to the rich. Although that's shitty. It's a lot worse. Nationwide, 